So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the greatest watch market update show in the world. Unbelievable, but true. You know, me and Kino always try to bring you what's happening out there in the Muppet Boiler Room secondary great watch market. Unbelievable, but true, but we do. And today, I have something that I would like to talk to you about, about something that I've been talking to you about for the last three months. And today, Joaquin, my manager, my cousin Joaquin, unbelievable. You know, Joaquin does not want no one to call him Kino unless you know him in a personal basis. He wants to be called now Joaquin. Unbelievable that Kino, unbelievable that Kino. Kino, I'm always gonna call you Kino because I love you. Sweet kid, that Kino, sweet kid. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I got a subject that I started talking to you about like three months ago. I started talking to you about Rolex SA factory asking all their authorized dealers that if they wanted to stick around as authorized dealers with the Rolex family, they had to do a Rolex built out to their specifications. Unbelievable, but true, but Rolex wanted all these ADs to do a brand new built out to their specs. Unbelievable, this uh, Rolex, unbelievable. And to do this built out, I explained to you some months ago, it cost between half a million and a whole million. Half a million dollars and a full million dollars to do that beautiful boutique built out. And the ones that couldn't do it because they just don't have the funds to do it, they were just going to be weeded out, you know, like a weeder, you know, weeded out, gone. Unbelievable, but true, but that's the way it was. You know, all those mamas and papas that had those authorized dealers with a catalog Rolex book, they were no more needed, you know, they uh, they just couldn't do it, you know, they, they were the ones, these mama and papa Rolex catalog authorized dealers were the first ones to sell the Rolex GMT Pepsi, the Rolex Daytona, the Rolex Submariner. They were the ones. These were the original ones, but they are no longer needed by Rolex. So they've been weeded out. I also spoke to you about Rolex building an unbelievable facility somewhere in Geneva, you know? Rolex SA Geneva facility, state of the art. You know, this facility that they are doing right now has a price tag of a billion dollars. You know, what the Texas Stadium costs or whatever it is, you know, the Dallas Cowboys play, it costs a billion dollars. Yankee Stadium at the time, a billion dollars. You know, City Field and Shea Stadium, next to Shea Stadium in Queens, you know, costs another million dollars. Unbelievable, you know? So this facility costs a billion dollars to build out. State of the art from Rolex SA Factory. So there it is. You got Rolex asking all their ADs to do a built out. You have Rolex SA Factory doing an unbelievable state of the art facility. And then one summer day, Rolex got up through the morning and woke up and decided to buy this unbelievable Rolex authorized dealer that has been doing business with them for the last hundred years. And that is Bukhara. That's right, Bukhara Jewelry. You know, Bukhara Jewelers, Torno, all that good stuff. And they bought a hundred stores from them. In other words, Rolex now is an authorized dealer itself. As I told you a while ago, Rolex has 1,816 authorized dealers throughout the world. And out of those 1,816 authorized dealers, Rolex purchased 100 of them. That's right. 100 of those Bukhara authorized dealers. Unbelievable. So do you see something going on? You know, do you see something? Rolex SA asked all their a ADs to do a built out that cost between a half a million and a million dollars. 
Rolex SA Factory is doing an unbelievable state-of-the-art facility that costs a billion dollars. And Rolex SA Factory purchased Bucaras, authorized dealers throughout the whole world, a hundred of them, unbelievable. Rolex wants to be like Chanel, like Hermes. You know, Rolex wants to have total control of all the ADs throughout the world. And what Rolex has done, what Rolex has done with all these ADs was to get them flim flam. That's right. They got all these ADs to get flim flam. And you ask yourself, but how? Well, Rolex is doing a million, a billion dollar facility, a billion dollar facility. And you know who's gonna get invoice with that price tag of the billion dollar state-of-the-art facility? All the Rolex authorized dealers are getting flim flam. That's right, they're all gonna get all flim flam. Unbelievable but true. Because Rolex wants to have all the 1,816 authorized dealers throughout the world. They wanna be the authorized dealer. They want to be just like I told you, just like Hermes and just like Chanel. You know, my wife is a big, uh, big collector of Chanel bags. And when we travel around and she buys a bag, let's say in Barcelona, Spain, and, and, and they look for her name, they know that she's purchased in New York, in Miami, in Dubai, in Wherever it is, all over the world, they have total control of what my wife has purchased with Chanel throughout the years. Unbelievable, but true. And that's exactly what Rolex wants to be, wants to have total control. They want to be the owners of all the Rolex authorized dealers throughout the world. Unbelievable, but true. Rolex doesn't want to be like Campbell Soups. You know, Campbell Soups is all over the shelves and all the bodegas in the Bronx, in Brooklyn, in Queens, you know, in Miami, and in Mercado, you know? They don't wanna be like Campbell soups, you know? They don't wanna be like that uh, tomato uh, soup can, you know? <laughs> Unbelievable, they don't wanna be like a tomato soup can, you know, from Campbell's. I love that tomato soup can from uh, Campbell's, but Rolex doesn't wanna be in anybody's shelf. They want to be in their own shelf, in their own authorized boutique. And they're going to have all the boutiques. They're going to control all the boutiques throughout the world. And what's happening is, this is the big news that's happening. All this information has been given to me by my cousin Keno, sweet kid Keno, unbelievable. I don't know how he does it, but he finds all this information out. And this is what it is. Get ready for this information that I'm going to give you. It's unbelievable. Rolex SA Factory no longer wants to have authorized dealers throughout the world. Rolex SA Factory wants to have Rolex certified pre-owned program dealers. That's right. They don't want no more authorized dealers. They want just Rolex CPO dealers. That's right. You know, with the little white tag and, and the white hanging tag and, and all that good stuff. They want them out. They want them out. They don't want no more authorized dealers. The only authorized dealer that's going to be, be around is Rolex SA Factory. That's right. Rolex SA Factory has flim flammed all the authorized dealers into buying into their built out that costs half a million, a million dollars. That's right. Rolex also bought all the Bucara stores, Bucara, Bucari, whatever it is, you know, Bucara, Turner, whatever. They have them all now. They want to have total control exclusively. They want to be the owners of all the authorized dealers. They want to do what Chanel does with a push of a button. They know when you purchase that Chanel bag, where you purchased it, and who sold it to you. That's right. And what's that person's name? 
And that's what Rolex wants to do. He doesn't want no more of that monkey business going on with the back door, selling watches to the Muppet Boiler Room secondary gray watch market dealers and channels. They don't want that no more. They're greedy. They are the biggest spoof balls around. Rolex SA Factory are the biggest spoof ball flim flammers around. Unbelievable, but true. And that's why they get to wear the crown, you know, because they're the king of watches. Rolex is the king of watches. Unbelievable, but true. But where credit is due, credit is due. And they're smart people. They have it all figured out. And they knew that somehow, some way, all these authorized dealers were going to pay for Rolex's state-of-the-art facility. That's right. That billion-dollar facility. They were going to pass them the invoice. And all these lollipop suckers, owners of authorized dealers, they jumped on it thinking they were going to be in with them. But in reality, they were just being suckered. They were all given a lollipop because Rolex SA Factory wants every single authorized dealer throughout the world. And the new name of all these authorized dealers is gonna be Rolex Certified Pre-Owned Program Dealers. Unbelievable that Kino. Kino was the one that found out this information. I don't ask questions. He tells me and I voice it out. And I'm still in shock to hear that Rolex will do such a thing to all these authorized dealers. They will be calling out Rolex certified pre-owned program dealers. No more authorized dealers, no more ADs, no more boutiques. The only people that will carry that name is Rolex SA Factory. The rest will be Rolex certified pre-owned program dealers. That's right. Use slider material watches dealers. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And like I'm telling you, Rolex doesn't want to be like Campbell Soup. They don't want to be in any, any shelf, in any bodega shelf. You know, and any supermarket, and any uh, Sedano's, you know, Sedano's supermarket store, <laughs> unbelievable. Pathmark, A, A and P, you know, uh, Whole Foods, they're out. Campbell's is to be in those shelves, but Rolex doesn't want to be in those shelves no more. They want to be the ones that control everything from their authorized dealers. Rolex wants to be an example like. Adamas Piquet with their beautiful boutique stores, you know? Beautiful, unbelievable. Or, or the Bacheron Constantine, you know? They want to be like that. They don't want to be like Campbell Soup, you know, in any shelf, in any bodega, you know? We had a friend of mine at a store in the Bronx, you know, he had a bodega and he was stacked up with Campbell Soups. I mean, no offense to Campbell Soups. I love Campbell Soups. But you cannot compare Campbell Soups to Rolex. Unbelievable, but true. And that's what's going to happen. Rolex flim flammed all the authorized dealers throughout the world. Unbelievable, but true. You know, those uh, mama and papas that had those catalog Rolex authorized dealers, they did well, you know, letting them go because they were going to get flim flammed too. You know, these, these uh, small Rolex Cadillac dealers were selling, you know, Seiko watches, changed batteries, you know, stainless steel stretch bands, and a big fat book catalog by Rolex. And they will order, you know, order something from Rolex SA and it will come to their, to their little mom and papa store. They're gone already. But the one that spent the half a million dollars and million dollars were the ones that paid out. Rolex SA Factory, that billion dollar facility. They were the ones that paid for that facility because now they're no longer gonna be called authorized Rolex dealers. They're gonna be called now Rolex certified pre-owned program dealers. 
use watches. That's right. The only thing they're gonna get out of all this from that Rolex certified pre-owned program is they're gonna be able to certify if that Rolex is real or not by Rolex SA factory, which I still think is mumbo jumbo. I just think it's gonna be somebody, it's just gonna be a watchmaker sitting there and he's gonna look at it and he's the one that's gonna say, yeah. And they're gonna have like a thousand bunch of white certified cars in the back room and stamp it, here it is, it's the real thing and that's it. But authorized dealers, Rolex authorized dealers are finished. Unbelievable, but true, unbelievable. No more Campbell tomato soups in the shelves for Rolex. They don't want to be there no more. They want to be like Hermes. They want to be like Chanel. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They want to be like Tesla. Unbelievable. Tesla sells his own cars and that's it. You know, it's how, it's how it is. Unbelievable but true. Rolex has flim flam every single authorized dealer all over the world because Rolex is gonna monopolize the whole watch Rolex industry. They're gonna be the authorized dealers. This is what Kino, my manager says, I'm sorry, Joaquin, unbelievable that Joaquin, unbelievable, sweet kid that Joaquin, but I call him Kino, has told me, this is happening at the moment. This is happening and it's unbelievable that we're no longer gonna see those poor authorized dealers are spending all their money on doing a built out to Rolex specifications. It's over. I'm telling you, it's over. Rolex is the biggest flim flammer out there. But Rolex wants to have control of everything. The watch industry is changing, totally. What you saw in the Corona era, you're never gonna see it again. You're never gonna see it again. It's over, it's over. Rolex has done something that's been unbelievable and this is why they are the king of watches. Everybody else is just sitting around their big table. Rolex is the casino, and everybody's playing around in their big table. Unbelievable, but true. Unbelievable. So there it is. Your favorite authorized Rolex dealer pretty soon will be called Rolex Certified Pre-Owned Program Dealer. That's all. Ask, ask your favorite uh, authorized dealer and tell them what you heard. Tell them that you heard this from Joaquin slash Kino and one from Opus in Time. You guys have all been hoodwinked by all these hucksters at Rolex SA Factory. Unbelievable but true. Unbelievable what you have done to all those dealers that took out second credit lines to pay you the half a million dollars to stay in the game, only to know that they have been flim flam by you tomato cans out there. You, you Rolex tomato cans have flim flam all those 80s. Unbelievable, but true, unbelievable. I'm very, very saddened that, you know, this information is coming out to the surface. Unbelievable what's happening, unbelievable. But Rolex, again, is the king of watches and this is why they can get away with everything. They're the factory, they do whatever they want. It's their product. So there you have it. Rolex authorized dealers will no longer be called Rolex authorized dealers. They will be called Rolex certified pre-owned program dealers. Unbelievable but true. The watch market is dead. Unbelievable. Unbelievable information by this beautiful, sweet kid, Kino. Unbelievable. I don't know how he does it. So there it is. You know how it is. I already told you that Rolex does not, does not want to be like Campbell's soup. 
and any bodega shelf. They want to be in their own boutique store. With a push of the button, they know who purchased, when they purchased, what country they purchased from, what year, what date, what name, what address. Unbelievable, but true. So there you have it. Rolex ADs are no longer gonna be around, only for Rolex SA Factory. They will be called now Rolex Certified Pre-Owned Program Dealers. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoy what I had to say about Rolex SA Factory, flim flamming all the authorized dealers throughout the world. There it is. Put all this to practice. Let all your Rolex authorized dealers know what's going on because most of them don't even know what's coming their way. It's a big tsunami coming their way. Unbelievable, but true. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and like I say every week, Take care and brush your hair. Unbelievable, that Rolex. Sweet kid, that king. Unbelievable. Sweet kid. Yeah.